Hey Scribers, I am back on Trove and basically I'm going to have to start all over again. Um, it's now in closed beta, so um, here we go. Now there's usually this daily bonus pops up every time you come in. So if you fill um, the star bar, you get an additional 200 um, coins or points. And so obviously I'm going to do that. Now you notice I'm back to my default Trove character. I'm no longer... Um, the character that I created before. So uh, let's take a look here and we'll go ahead and get ourselves situated. The barbershop is where you can actually change your hair color and your style. Obviously, I'm a lady. There's guy and there's lady. Uh, skin tone, let's see. Um, probably about right there. Let's see, my hair. <laughs> nope. No, no, where's my pony? Oh, there's a chopped ponytail. How can I see my character? Oops, must have gotten out of it. I thought you could see this side of it, but I guess you can. Let me see if I can turn. Nope, because I end up getting out of the... No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to kill my barbershop. Okay, let's try it again. Skin tone. Hair color. There's no purple! What happened to the purple hair color? Oh, I wanted purple hair color. Okay, I guess I'll go with that color. And I have to do my eye color in purple then. That's weird. Last time they gave us a lot more choices. So that's a chop ponytail, a gold band ponytail, a long ponytail, short goggles, hot look. <laughs> I guess if you say so. Crazy goggles, mm. shaggy elf, <laughs> long and natural, lohawk, fierce wings. I don't even know what color to go with. Maybe I'll go that route. I'll go fuchsia. With yellow eyes? No, that looks too strange. I'll go with my purple eyes. Oh, this is what I can do. <laughs> oh, that looks silly. Don't like that one at all. Do not like wings. Let's see. That's fierce. No. Lohawk, long and natural. Well, I think it's really changed these things because they looked a lot better before. I think I'll go with a long ponytail. Yep, yeah, that looks best. And I'll stay with a fuchsia purplish kind of color. So uh, let's accept. Awesome. Okay, now let's go read this sign. It says, Welcome to Tutorial Temple. Progress to these challenges to learn how to the basics of Trove. I already know the basics of Trove. You just happen to restart me. So if we get hurt, of course, we use the cue to get to our Elysium flask. And we're going to have to cross the lava. So when we cross the lava, jump, jump, jump. We hit Q. And then we go to the station and we fill. Then we mode swap. That means this is adventure mode and this is build mode. And so we have to change to build mode in order to get out of these areas. And so in build mode, we can press and put our blocks down. So let's go in build mode. Let's do some steps going up. There we go. Let's hop up here. Get out of build mode. And head on to adventure. It happens to look a lot different than it looked before. Before we came into some kind of like small city. It says our next goal is to find and claim a cornerstone spot plot. Look for an empty gray square area. Your cornerstone is linked to you and you can move it to any plot you claim. So before when we came out of the uh, temple we came into a city and now we come out into this area here and I don't see anybody else here which is strange because usually there's tons of people around but uh, I guess nobody's playing tonight. 
unless they've changed some things, but um, I'm not sure. I don't see any. I don't see any uh, creatures either that we're supposed to kill. Hmm. Seems very strange. Can we break these? Yep. They're just bushes. Okay. So we're gonna hit E to claim our spot. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> I will make sure to reduce that in the video. There's our rejuvenation station. And obviously this is our cornerstone with our little crafting bench. When you click on the crafting bench, you can uh, do any of these crafting areas, uh, personal chest. And since I have nothing, since I haven't collected anything, and then this is a portal where I can travel to a, a hub world. So I need to start collecting stuff. There's a little bit of chat going on. Uh, okay. So I'm not sure what that is. Um, crafting stations like this, pressing B. In order to complete the tutorial, you must use a crafting the station to craft and place then and you use a hub portal. Okay, so they don't let us in with anybody else until we get the hub portal made. And so we need shape stone and warp speed to do that. 20 and 30 of each so I know you can usually get to <clears throat> the warp speed or the shape stone oh and there's I think these creatures may give me some warp warp seed so let's see wow the last time I had all sorts of good loot I had some good good stuff in uh no, I don't see anything. Hmm. Okay, how about this guy? Maybe he has something. I'm trying to see also look around and see if I can see any uh So basically you have a move if you jump you can come in. There is a warp speed, was that yeah. One bleach bone, one warp speed, so I'm gonna have to kill a lot of these guys to get 20, 30 warp speeds. So these are the haunted woods. You can jump to kind of keep from missing the guys and then um, or the, it uh, actually lets you choose what kind of character you want. Let's see if it does it again. Um, I'm trying to think of what the, let's see, H, it doesn't do H anymore. So this one is a swipe. This one is a jump and hit. So this is a left mouse button. This is a right mouse button. And one and two are locked right now because I'm not at uh, I'm not in any levels right now. I'm starting over again. So that means I'm going to have to kill a lot of mobs to try to level up. catch all these warp speeds. Let's see, can I... I don't think I can... I can't remember how to check my inventory. Oop, and there's some... So... Oops. Let's get rid of this guy. So we can get some ourselves some warp speed. Some, uh, I mean some of this stuff. <laughs> can't remember what it was called. Okay, let's see. Um, change to build mode. And what we do is you hit your right click button. Oops, I didn't want to place a one. Okay, let's get the rest of this warp speed. Usually if you, you don't have to be super close to it to pick it up. It's not like you have to pick it up. So we definitely want to get some of that stuff. So I have, I don't know if it shows what I have yet. So anyway, let's go into this dungeon and let's see if we can take out some guys. Oh, there's another guy over there. He looks a little different than the other one. What are you? Oh, you're like a robot. Basically what I do is I, I move backwards as I'm swinging. That seems to 
to work really well. And let's see where the entrance to this is. Oh, here it is over here. We may get aggroed by some of these, some more of this stuff. Let's see, I'm, not, I'm far from that one, so I'm going to go ahead and go into build mode and pick this stuff up. Because I'm going to need to build a hub in order to get out of here and get into a multiplayer area. Okay, looks like that's about it in there. There was another spot over here. There we are. Sometimes they're up like this and sometimes they're in the ground. So As long as you're fairly close to it, you don't have to drop into the hole to pick it up. It's not like other games where you have to be really close to it. You can see that it all pops into my inventory as long as I am fairly in distance. And if you're playing with other players and you're picking it up, they'll pick up some as well. At least that's what it was before um, the last time I came in. So let's kill a few more of these guys, pick up some more... I don't want primal portal bullocks. Ooh, what did I get? A timed turkinator. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pick them up. And um, I'm trying to remember. Is it X? To change my sword. It's been a while since I've done it. No, that's to buy other stuff. So classes. I have knight and I have gunslinger. If I want any of these other ones, I have to purchase them. Uh, the same with costumes. If you want costumes, you have to purchase them as well. And mounts. Uh, oh, now you have to buy them all. It used to be that you got one after leveling up, but I guess not anymore. And the same with these. Uh, I guess if we if we earn enough coins, uh, then we'll get we'll be able to purchase it with those coins without actually paying real money. And the same with this, if we want more blocks. So I have um, I don't have any cubics. I don't think. Uh, let's see. Do I have seventeen hundred? I wonder if that's my my cubics. Let's see. These are five thousand. What about a mount? I'd like to get a mount. So I need a thousand. And that's Stormy. Let's see, can I buy Stormy? Yep, okay, cool. So that means I get Stormy. Uh, so R calls Stormy up. So add him to a reflection. And oh, so I mastered 50 mastery points for unlocking Stormy. Cool. Uh, let's see, I was going to go into that dungeon. See if I can pick up. I thought I think I had picked up that warp, warp seed. So I need to slay the skeleton king. So let's go in here. Let's do this. Let's kill this boss. I can do it. I've done it before. I was a bigger level, had more points with me, but oh well. Oh, here's it. Watch my health there on the right. The, I should say on the left. Gotta slay this king. He's got me cornered. But I'm getting him down. He's getting me down too. So I'm gonna hit Q. Make sure I fill up on. Almost there! Yay! All right. All right, leveled up, quest complete. Gained 125 points and I got 10 mastery points for leveling up. I don't think there's anything else in here. Is there? Oh yeah, there's this. So, wow, what do I pick up? I picked up a uh, rickety rake. <laughs> so, and what's this? Regular bear. Oh, I like a little petty bear. Cool. <laughs> so eat is to loot. And uh, sometimes when you're in one of these dungeons, you may be far, far below. So um, you can use this portal to then take you back up to the surface. Basically, that's all it does. It doesn't take you anywhere else, just kind of out of the dungeon into back into the area. So let's keep going and looking for some more mobs to kill and maybe some more. Maybe we'll find an... Oh, there's a dungeon over there. Let's try that one. I'm feeling strong. Let's go do this. I 
boxes. So let's see, I'm gonna jump and can I double hit? Oh, didn't even see him. Where did you come from? You just spawned all together. I wasn't watching. I was too busy watching myself. Huh? Ooh, got him good. I wonder, I'm um, trying to remember. Is it Z? Oh, Z. Nice. Now I can run to places. I mean, ride to places. This is awesome. But I think as soon as I start hitting, he goes away. So Z puts me into my mount. Unfortunately, I cannot... Ooh, there's some more of that stuff. I cannot um, fight with him or ride. As, if I'm riding on, on him, I can't uh, fight. As soon as you start swinging your sword, it will dismount you from your your ride. Did I get it all? There's one right there. There we go. I think that's it. I don't see any more down there. Let's see. Anything else out here? I need to see how to get to my... So V is for recipes. So V is a crafting. That's a mag rider, huh? Club card. Create a club for you and your friends. So I need shape stone and warp seed for that. A bomb. I need primordial flame. Uh, original potion, bottle, and warp seed. And shape stone for the crafting bench, which I already have. So any other shape stone? Oh, there's some over there. Let's go grab that. I need to grab as much as I can so I can get into the other areas. And so basically I'm just right clicking on or holding my right mouse button down as I mine this shape stone. And I think I got it all. And let's see, you can still get, I think you can still get hit while you're in the build mode. So you have to be ready to get out of it. Let's see, I don't see anything else over here. I see a lot of water down there. That's a very high cliff. Let's get out of this and let's go ahead and see. I'm trying to see, is it B? Ah, there we go. So we have 57. We have a lot. We, this warp sea is what we need. I think we need 30 of that and 20 of that. So we got plenty of that. Let's look at this. Um, that's more physical damage. So let's right click. Let's see. Is that the turkey? No, right click. There we go. Yep. I click on it. Now I have the turkey. The time turkeynator. Oh, look at that. It's a turkey skewered. <laughs> and this one is less physical damage. I get more health, though, and less speed on the rickety rake. But this one gives me minus attack and minus physical. Oh, that's the, the original one I had. Let's go with this one for now, and let's see how it works out. And we'll go into this dungeon here, if I can find the entrance. There it is. Let's see what we have to We have to slay again another Skeleton King. So you see in the top right, I have the little star bar. And the star bar, oh, he's coming out for me. Okay, okay. You don't even wait for me to come in. You just come right on out and try to kill me. What's up with that, huh, Skeleton King? What's up with that? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you try to kill me from behind? Uh, yes. Okay, so I got one, two warp speeds quest complete. Woohoo! I leveled up. Did I level up? Maybe not. No. When you level up, it's that huge thing. So I'm at two. Uh, stoic spell staff. So that was B for me to get to that. Oh, I need to pick it up. No. So I need to escape out of that and do E. So I got the spell staff. So let's do B and see. That's minus four physical damage, but oh no, that's rookie rake. Minus twenty-four physical damage, thirty-two magic damage. Hmm. I'll have to wait and see on that one. Okay, I think there was another. There was another dungeon close by. Yeah, that one over there. Well, that stupid skeleton king just like oh I need I need to go down. I need to go down and open that chest. He came out to attack me and I was like, whoa, dude. Let me see if I go through here. Can I go back inside? Yes, there we go. Let's break my chest open, see what kind of good loot I get. I get a trusty toke. Toke. I don't know what that is. Fa 52. 
So if we look at that, it says, oh, it's a hat. So let's wear that hat because we get some more health. You notice my health has gone up. It's a silly hat, but hey, I look like a chef. <laughs> let's go ahead and go back out and let's go see what other loot we can get. Me and my silly hat and my turkey on the skewer. Let's go over here to this one. Oh, some more warp speed. Oh, but I'm going to have to fight these guys. Food. Both of you taking me on, huh? Is that it? Is that what you do? Is that what you're doing? Whoa. Swiftly done. Ooh, what's this? A shiny short sword. Let's see what that gives me. So that sh gives me 36 plus physical damage. Let's go ahead and try that one. It's a short sword. May not be that great, but we'll try it. And let's get into this dungeon. And this will be my last dungeon. And then I will stop the episode there. And we will uh, continue again with the next episode after that. So let's hit this dungeon and get it done in less than a minute. <laughs> well, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'm going to stop here because... I need to take my time with it, uh, and I don't want to be inside here when I do my ex my outro because uh, they'll probably kill me. <laughs> so this is another slay the kill skeleton king. So that should be pretty easy to do. So if you like this episode, please hit that like button, and if you want to see my next episode, please be sure to hit that subscribe button over there. Oops, no, over there, no, over here. <laughs> turn around you silly fool there you go um so this has been techna and this has been trove and i've done that dungeon because you see the x over it and i'm about to go into this dungeon and get some more loot and i will see you in the next episode